What is up YouTube? My name is Eben, and today on The Edge we're going to talk about a card that doesn't have necessarily a super abundance of combos, but it is a really important card to think about as the new metagame takes shape after uh, Breakthrough comes out. And that card is Judge. Now this is actually an older card that got a reprint. Um, but for those of you who don't know, this supporter just says that each player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws four cards. And that is pretty gosh darn straightforward. Now at first, it might seem to some like it's kind of an inferior Shauna or like an inferior Prof Professor Birch's observation. But of course, what's powerful about this card is the fact that it hits both players and not just you. Then it affects, you know, basically it, it can potentially give you a gain and at the same time potentially mess up an opponent. Now this may sound familiar, and it should, because it resembles this card, N, <clears throat> who very recently, and still in the expanded format, does this same thing basically, except that he has a variable number uh, for each player. Um, they draw cards instead of just a set number, four, like Judge, he picks it based on their prize cards. So depending on where you are in the game, this guy can either be very helpful to you or very hurtful. Um, the trade-off here is that, of course, Judge is always the same no matter what, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just means it's different. While N can be custom, basically tailored to certain situations and certain scenarios, and you can kind of wait it out, like when you start getting into a losing position, you can use this to sort of take back the game from an opponent, Judge, on the other hand, can be played pretty much any time to potentially build a good situation for you. Of course, certain decks can, in theory, profit more, uh, Noivern Break, for example, is a Pokemon who can uh, very much benefit from Judge, as his attack is normally 70 damage, but if you have the exact same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, he does 80 more damage. And 3 energy for 150 damage is pretty gosh darn good, of course. And, um, I'm gonna move that so we can see all this pretty stuff. Ooh. Uh, so, of course, there's that obvious combo, and there are some other cards, too, that profit from you having the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent. And we won't get into each and every one of them. We'll just mention the one and kind of let it stand for the category. But there are other decks that can more generally profit as well. I mean, of course, let's just say that every deck can benefit from Judge, just like N. But like N, we can create specific decks and situations that profit more. One card that comes to mind is Seismitoad EX. As much as locking your opponent with Seismitoad EX can be very profitable for you, of course your opponent just builds up a big hand, and if they ever escape from your Seismitoad lock, they can play a lot of cards and do a lot of things and potentially swing the game right back around. So you're forced to either have your opponent quaking punched for the entire game, which can be difficult and a little tedious, especially if you want to like take actual knockouts occasionally, or it means that you take a big risk anytime you switch in a Pokemon to go for a bigger attack and a bigger KO which in some mashups, in some situations, you kind of need to. Of course, similar uh, arguments go for Vileplume. So, what makes Judge so good with Seismitoad is, even though your opponent might be getting a new hand with Judge, it's a very small hand, which means they have limited options. And you could very easily just draw them into a bunch of items, which won't be terrifically helpful anyway, as long as your Toad stays up. But if your Toad is about to go out, what it can do is limit what your opponent can do to take advantage of the situation. A lot of supporters aren't going to be that, they might draw with Judge, won't be that useful as they'll just draw more cards, many of which will be dead anyway, or they won't be in a good position to really take advantage of them, like Lysander. If they're not in a good position to attack, Lysander is not terrifically useful. It's a fairly inferior defensive card that they just bring up new Pokemon and hope it can't attack kind of thing. Um, but of course, enough about that. We do have some other cards that work very well with Judge as far as keeping you from being hurt by it. And Shaman is one of the ones that comes to mind first. Um, because obviously you can get to four cards, play out a couple of them right away, and then you can Shaman to draw quite a few. And similar logic, of course, goes for Octillery and its Abyssal Hand now as well, which can even threaten to do it turn after turn with Judge. Um, and what's really good about that is, especially if you consider a card like Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is like one of your dream cards to get with Judge, essentially. And many decks run Ultra Ball, and many decks run Shaman. So Judge really is a card you should very strongly consider. Just because, think about it, if you Judge, you go to four cards. Even if you have nothing else in your hand that has any real use or that you can play out right away except the Ultra Ball, you play the Ultra Ball, burn two of those other cards, leaving you with just one, your Ultra Ball goes and gets, let's say, your Shaman. Now you have two cards in your hand, the Shaman and whatever that last card was. 
Now you can bench your Shaman and draw five. And that's assuming you couldn't play out one of those other three cards, which if you could means you could actually Shaman with zero cards in your hand. Your opponent would have lost their hand for a random four, which is not a lot. Ask anyone who's lost a coin flip on Professor Birch's observations. And you, on the other hand, have managed to play out a card and go get a Shaman and draw six. So you essentially judged and kind of got seven cards, whereas they only got four, which is pretty gosh darn good when you think about it. And that's not counting anything that you drew with Shaman and what you can do with that. So suffice it to say, this is a card that needs strong consideration from you as you get ready and build your decks, because this card is very likely to have a very powerful impact in shaping the new metagame. Sure, not every turn will be a starring turn for Judge, but I think it's fair to say that with this many cool synergies and this much flexibility, Judge will definitely be a card that you will want to have at least one of so you can go Versus Seeker for it, if not, maybe even two. So anyway, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitter link below, and I will see you next time.